roar. I'm a big scary troll. No, not scary enough. Maybe he needs crazy hair. And big ears. Trolls definitely have big ears. Ready? Roar. I'm a big scary troll. Eh, I guess you're a little scary. I think he's perfect. Let's play. OK, so where did three Billy Goats grow up? Uh, guys, don't we need a bridge? Oh, right. Will this work? Perfect. Awesome, but you'd better be ready. Goats, we've eaten all the grass in our meadow. And I'm so hungry. There's lots of grass over there. Oops, grass. across the river. And you know who guards the bridge? A big scary troll. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. I sure hope somebody crosses my bridge. I'm starving. Come closer, Ghost. I've got the plan. Yes. Amazing. Are you sure this will work? Just stick to the plan. Be careful. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Roar! Who dad clip flops on my bridge? It's just me, the little belly goat. Ha! You foolish goat. Now I shall gobble you up. I'm too small to make a good dinner for a big girl like you. But don't worry, my sister will be coming soon. And she's bigger than me. Fine, little goat. I shall eat your big sister. Clip flop, clip flop, clip flop. Safe! Okay, my turn. You'll do great. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Ah, uh, me? I'm the medium-sized Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, you are much bigger than your little sister. Now I shall gobble you up. Wait, wait! If you want a really good meal, my big brother is coming and he's even bigger than me. He's huge and delicious like pepperoni pizza. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Fine, I shall eat your big brother. Clip, clop, clip, clop, safe! Okay, here I go. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Hi, I'm the big Billy Goat Grump. Hmm. You are the perfect dinner for a big scary troll like me. Well, I'm big enough to know you shouldn't go around gobbling people up. Huh? And I'm also big enough to do this. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Yay! And from then on, the three Billy Goats Gruff ate all the yummy green grass they could have. And that big scary troll never bothered them again. The end! Hey guys, wanna play again? Sure. Yeah, can I be the troll? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna be the big Billy Goat Gruff. I wanna be a Billy Goat too. Okay. Look at that smug duck. This silly duck can't stop admiring himself in the mirror. Smug duck is very vain. What a lovely perfume! What could the little duckling be up to? <laughs> what a fiendish little duck! <laughs> be careful, smug duck! Very smug duckling very happily went for a walk. His tail was well perfumed. Boom bada doom bada doom. He crossed paths with a lady duck and wanted to win her affection. Oh. 
The lady duckling kept walking. Boom, bada doom, bada doom. For you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. I race a crab to its hiding place. I feel the warm sun on my face. I see starfish and sand dollars too, and a school of fish in a pool of blue. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. I hunt for treasures on the shore. I find one clam, and then some more. I hold a seashell up to my ear. It whispers a story I long to hear. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. red brick. It matches my shirt. How cool. This blue one is really awesome. I love the way that it's just in the middle. <laughs> okay, guys, we need to build a just really better. tall skyscraper. We just better not knock it Hi. down. <gasps> Our tower. It's okay. Let's build it again while we play the three little pigs. The three little pigs? Yeah. Here. I'll be Mama Pig. And you'll be my three kids. One, two, three. Little pigs, you're not little anymore. It's time for you to build houses of your own. Ah, oh, Mama, I'll miss you. A house of my own? Sounds great. Now, be sure to build strong, safe houses and watch out for the big bad wolf. That big old bully will try to gobble you up. Goodbye, piggies, and good luck. Bye. 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 Okay, I'll be the pig who makes my house out of straw. But we don't have straw. Oh, then I'll use this blanket. Come on, help me. There we go. All done. How fast was that? Now it's some time to relax. See you later, piggies. Bye. I don't think that fort looks very sturdy. Do you? I think I'll make my house out of that cardboard box. But that's a box. That's OK. I'll draw the sticks on. This is my house of sticks. It's way stronger than my brother's, and it didn't even take that long to make. See ya, sister. Come visit anytime. Now you can be the pig who... Makes their house out of bricks. Yeah. Here, I'll help you. And I build a strong house that will never come down. That's right. But as the three little pigs began to enjoy their new houses, they started to hear scary rumors that the big bad wolf had come to town. Ow! Mmm, I smell pigs. 
I bet there's a little pig in here. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> Your diamond necklace. Cool. What about sunglasses? You look super fancy. Thanks. What do you want to dress up as? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Want to play country mouse and city mouse? Cool. Yeah. Here's my nice green meadow. Nothing but peace and quiet around here. I'm bored. And here's my big fancy city house. I need a vacation from all this excitement. I'll go visit my cousin in the country. The suitcase is perfect. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. You live far. Cousin, is that you? All the way from the big city. It's so good to see you. So, what do you do in the country? Uh, well, we could play in the grass. Okay. We could watch the stars. Uh, okay. We could look for food. Sometimes I find a nut or berries. Or we could eat what I brought. I've never seen so much food. This is nothing. The giants that live in my house leave stuff like this all over the place. Whoa. So, what do you do in the city? Well, I guess you could say we count the stars too. But in the city, there are big, shiny, flashy lights in every color of the rainbow. Whoa. Yeah, it's mostly going from one adventure to the other. The city sounds amazing. I wish I could visit you. Okay, let's go. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. Welcome to my mansion. Looks like the giants left quite the feast. This is awesome. We need a city cat. Oh, right. Uh... I got it. You eat. Okay. Mmm. Tasty.
now. Cousin, you can come out now. It's safe. Safe? Are you sure? That's just the cat. He chases us and we run away. It's all part of the adventure. That's enough adventure for me, thanks. I miss the nice, quiet country. Oh, well, come visit any time. You too. And so, from then on, the country mouse was grateful for his peaceful life in the country. And the city mouse was grateful for a crazy life in the city. And, and they, they both, both lived happily ever, ever after. So, what should we dress up as next? I think I saw some pig ears back there. Cool. For us. I think we should surprise him. With Blanket Monster? Papa loves Blanket Monster. You know, Papa makes us yummy food. We should make him breakfast. In bed. I think we should make him pancakes. We can't cook without Papa. Let's make him... Toast and orange juice. Yeah. D A D spells dad. I love my D A D. D A D spells dad. I love my D A D. My D A D is cool. My D A D is tough. My D A D is calm and never rough or gruff. I love my D. Papa's breakfast doesn't look very yummy. Oh! It just needs jelly. So today, we're going to take care of you. <laughs> oh. How about we all make some pancakes together? Yay! Pancakes! We love you, Papa. Booga booga! Do you want to play with blocks? No. Do you want to sing a song? No. Do you want to play dress up? No. Come on, let's play the story of the little red hen. Please, we'll make a perfect cat. Please, please. Okay. Hi, I'm the little red hen. Mmm, I'm really hungry. I will search this field for some breakfast. Oh, I need grains. Here we go. Ooh, look what I found. Ooh. Cat, look, I found grains. Now, if we plant the grains, they'll turn into wheat. And if we harvest the wheat, we can grind it into flour. And if we bake the flour into bread, we'll have a yummy sweet treat to share. That sounds like a lot of work. It won't be if we work together. Just imagine the freshly baked bread. Will you help me plant the greens? Sorry, Hen. It's fine. I'll do it myself. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. What do plants need 
to grow. Sun and water. Yummy. Let's eat. You didn't help me plant the grains. You didn't help me harvest the wheat. You didn't help me carry, grind, or bake. But now you want to eat? Meow. I did all the work myself, and now I will eat myself. So the little red hen ate, for she was hungry from her hard work. Cat helped her friend plant more grain and together they baked lots more bread to share. And, and they, they both lived happily ever after. The end. Do you want to bake something else together? Sure, let's make a cake. With pumpkin in it. Pumpkin Yum. is so good in cake. This is going to be delicious. Okay. We could add some um, vegetable too to make it really healthy. Yeah, very healthy. Hi! I'm playing Ocean Adventure with my friend. Do you want to play with us? Awesome! My friend is pretending to be a sea turtle. She's very shy, so sometimes she hides behind coral reef. I wonder where she is. Turtle, are you over here? What was that? Just the sound of waves, I guess. I wonder if she's over here. Hey! Do you guys see Turtle? Turtle, are you teasing me? Turtle, are you behind the seaweed? Boo! There you are. Do you want to do the turtle rhyme with me? Sure. And you can rhyme with us too. There was a little turtle. She lived in the sea. She swam in the waves. She swam past me. She snapped at a mosquito. She snapped at a flea. She snapped at a minnow. She even snapped at me. She caught the mosquito. She caught the flea. She caught the minnow. 
but she didn't catch me. I almost got you. Not a chance. Hey, do you want to play underwater tag? Not yeah. it. Fine. I'll be it. But I'm changing costumes so you better swim fast. So fast. Here I come. Play outside. Maybe it will stop? <sighs> I'm bored. <sighs> Booga! Booga! Ah! Johnny, why'd you do that? There's nothing to do. Nothing to do? I have the perfect rainy day game. Pass the parcel! Everyone ready? Yeah! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Ooh. Yellow! The driver on the bus goes move on back, move on back. Move on back, the driver on the bus goes move on back, all through the town. My turn, drum roll please. More wrapping paper. Blue, blue, no present for you. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. My turn, my turn. Orange. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Purple. The, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Pink. How many wrappings can one present have? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All through the town. Come on, come on. I win. What a great prize. Can we play outside now, Papa? Hmm. <laughs> hooray, hooray. <laughs> to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the epic tale of the brave knight and of the evil trolls. I am obviously the brave knight. And we are the evil trolls who get to capture the knight on the bridge and steal all of his armor. Places, everybody. I must cross this bridge to continue on my epic quest. Not if we have anything to say about it. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Hmm, a dangerous bridge indeed. I must be brave. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Ah, let me go! Ah, <laughs> let me go! Ah, not until you give us all of your <laughs> armor. But I'm on an epic quest. I need my armor. Then looks like you'll stay trapped forever. Hey, <laughs> 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 ah! Okay, okay, we surrender, we surrender. You are just too strong 
and too brave for us. We just wanted to be knights too. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? A knight must be strong and brave, but they also must be kind and fair. Why don't I share my armor with you? So we can all be knights. Yes, yes please. Yeah. Look at us, we're brave, strong knights. You'll have to behave like a knight, which means no more trapping people on bridges, okay? Okay. okay. Good luck on your epic quest. Thanks. Bye, Bye Mother, Mother Goose, Goose Club. Hi, Mother Goose Club. Look at this towel my friends and I spent the day making. We made this town and this car out of a few cardboard boxes. Let's take a drive and see who's out around town. Stop! Oh, who are you? I'm a police officer. A police officer? What does a police officer do? A police officer helps keep people safe and make sure that everyone is following the rules. Sometimes they direct traffic, like I'm doing right now. What a cool job. I think so too. The way's clear now. Come on through. Thank you. Bye. What a nice police officer. Oh, what's going on here? I'm just getting my fire truck ready for the day. What is your job? I'm a firefighter. A firefighter? What does a firefighter do? A firefighter puts out fires in homes, buildings, and even forests. I rescue people that are in danger, and I keep my town safe. Wow, that sounds like a very important job. Well, it's very important that I keep everybody safe. And remember, only call 911 when there's a real emergency. Will do. Goodbye. Wow, what a nice firefighter. Let's see who else we can meet in town. Oh look, that person is delivering a package to my house. That's right, I have a package for you. Oh, thank you. Is this your job? That's right, I'm a mail carrier. A mail carrier? What does a mail carrier do? A mail carrier delivers packages and mail. They also pick up packages and letters that people want to send to each other. You must be very busy. That's right, there's so many things to deliver. Here you go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another package to deliver. Goodbye, goodbye. Wow, what a busy day in our cardboard town. We met so many people. The police officer, the firefighter, and the mail carrier. Oh, after this package is open, we can add this to our town. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Hi there. Today, we're playing... Ladder Hunt! <laughs> okay, so today, we have Mary. I love letters. Versus Johnny. I'm the fastest and the best. Ooga, ooga. Ooga. <laughs> All right, kids, get ready. Get set. Who can find something with the letter Okay, Mary, let's see what you found. Leaf. Leaf starts with L. Ding, ding, ding. Very good, Mary. But I found a lawnmower. Lawnmower. That's way better than a leaf. Oh, lawnmower. That is a good L word. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Great. Who can find something that starts with the letter? Good job! 
job, Johnny. What did you find that starts with the letter C? Kite. K -k -k kite starts with the letter C. I win. Uh oh. I'm afraid kite starts with the letter K. K and C make the same k sound. That one was tricky. Cat. I found a cat. K -k -k cat starts with C. I don't like this game. Don't give up, Johnny. How about we try again? Who can find something that starts with the letter B? Blanket monster. B -b -b Blanket monster starts with the letter B. I win. I didn't even get to run. Booga booga. We'll see, see you, you next time. time. Booga, booga. <laughs> you can't catch me. Aha. Tag, you're it. Now I'm tired. Me too. Do you want to play something else? Sure. What should we play? Okay, can I be the shark? Yeah, and I'll be the five little fish. Ready? Ready. Five little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Uh-oh, four little fish swimming in the sea, Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Three little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Two little fish swimming in the sea, Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. One little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. No more little fish? But don't worry, the five little fish came back with all their friends and told Mr. Shark they didn't like being snapped at. And Mr. Shark told all the fish that he didn't like being teased. And, and they, they all played, played together, together without, without any more fights. What do you want to play now? Let's see who can get more seashells. Okay. Spending a day at the beach is grand. Building a castle in the sand. Catching a wave in the salty sea. A seagull is flying over me. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. I erase a crab to its hiding place. I feel the warm sun on my face. I see starfish in sand dollars too. And a school of fish in a pool of blue. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. hunt for treasures on the shore. I find one clam, and then some more. I hold a seashell up to my ear. It whispers a story I long to hear. A day at the beach with my family. 
a, a day at the beach for, for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. Mary, catch! Johnny! Mary? Johnny, are you okay? Mary won't play with me. Hmm. How about we play a game that everyone will enjoy? Let's play the rhyming game! I want to play! I don't know. You can each choose a word to rhyme with. Johnny, do you want to pick first? Uh... Ooh, I know! Car! That's a great rhyming word! What about you, Mary? I want to rhyme with the word... Fun! Let's get ready to play! Booga booga! comes a word that rhymes with car or fun. Sun. That rhymes with fun. Sun and fun. Great job. Here comes the next one. St uh, R. That rhymes with k R. Great rhyming. My turn. My turn. OK. Here comes the other one. This one is hard. Let's sound it out, Johnny. O, N, R, A, N, K, R. I don't think those sound the same. Now let's try fun. O, N, R, A, N, A, N. Home run and fun rhyme. I'm tired. I need to rest. One more time. Please, I have a new word. Okay, one more time. What's your word? Ooga rhymes with booga. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Whoa! <laughs> Here, let me help. You know, this rope would be perfect for the lion and the mouse. I guess I'm the lion. I never get to be the lion. True. Your turn. Get your mane. Roar! Squeak. It sure is nice being a big, strong lion. I think I'm gonna lounge around and relax. Roar! I smell seeds. Oops! No, no, please let me go, and I promise to help you whenever you need it. How is a teeny tiny mouse going to help a great big lion? You're a funny mouse. In fact, I think I'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you. Your kindness won't be forgotten. Silly mouse. What's this? A hunter's trap. Quick, help me get trapped. Okay. Good. Perfect. Roar! Roar! I'm stuck! I'm really stuck! Help! The great lion
lion cried out, but not one animal in the jungle dared to help. No animal, that is, except the mouse, who had not forgotten the lion's kindness. Don't worry, lion, I'm here to help. Thanks, little guy, but if I can't get out of this trap, what are you going to do? I'll save you, just like you saved me. You really are funny. Aha! What? I'm free! Sorry I laughed at you, Mouse. Now I see, small friends can be the greatest friends of all. And that's our story. Of the Lion and the Mouse. The, the end. end. Hey, do you want to play jump rope? Yeah! You can go first. Thanks! Okay, ready? Now left! What's wrong? Ouch! I stepped on... A pee? A marble! It really hurt! Maybe we should take a break. Want to play the princess in the pee? Yeah! Cool! Crowns? Thanks, your majesty. Of course, princess. But it's way past your bedtime. I guess I need a bed. Don't forget a pillow. Now, right to bed, princess. Oh, and one more thing. Night, Dad. Good night. Dad? Dad! Yes, what is it? I can't fall asleep. But it's late. Okay. Roar! Here you go. Now close your eyes. Sure, Dad. Good night. Good night. Dad? Yes? I can't get comfortable. What are you saying to me? Okay, sure. Skid a marinky dinky dink, skid a marinky do. I love you. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the. Hey! You're supposed to be relaxing. I am! Go to sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night. Dad? What is it now? Can you read me a bedtime story? Fine, but then you have to go to sleep. I have a kingdom to rule in the morning. Thanks, Dad! Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Dad, can the cat play fiddle? I don't know, dear. The cow jumped over the moon. Dad, there's no way a cow could jump over the moon. Just listen, okay? The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. That story's ridiculous! Ugh. Ugh. Dad, I still can't sleep! Hey! What's this? A pee? Dad, no wonder I couldn't fall asleep. Dad? Of the princess and the pea. The, the end. end. Hey, what should we play next? Let's play marbles. I got a big marble. I got a small marble. Hi there. Today, we're going to be playing hide and seek. Yay! I'll be it. Ready? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, you'll be caught. 
<laughs> oh no! Where should I hide? Behind the fridge? Easy. In the pantry? It's too tight. Under the table? Oof. Dusty, but it'll have to do. Anyone in here? Under the sink? Not under the sink. In the pantry? No. Uh, 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 choo! Oh. What was that? You got me. Yay. <laughs> now, time to find Johnny. I need a hiding place. Quick. Or I need a blanket monster. Under the bed? No. Under the blankets? No. I know you're in here. Look at me. I see you found Johnny. Now, whose turn is it next? I'm too tired. Me too. Papa, will you read to us? Okay. One story before dinner. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit, or hare, as his friends in the forest like to call him. Now, the hare loved hopping along the forest trail and talking about how fast he was. One day, as the hare was bouncing along, he zoomed past the squirrels. So long, squirrels, I'm faster than you, laughed the hare. As he continued on, he zoomed past the snakes. So long, snakes, I'm so much faster than you. As the sun was beginning to set, the hare tripped over the tortoise, who was slowly plodding along the forest trail. Tortoise, you're so slow, I thought you were a rock. You must be the slowest animal in the forest, and I am the fastest. The tortoise cautiously peeked her head out of her shell. Hare, you're always bragging about how fast you are, but did you ever think how it makes your friends feel when you call them slow? Since you're so fast, I challenge you to a race. What? <laughs> the hare laughed. Tortoise, you couldn't beat a tree stump in a race. Laugh all you want, replied the tortoise, but I'll see you tomorrow for our race. So, the next morning, the hare came early to see all the forest animals gathered to watch the race. Okay, said the tortoise, we'll race down the path, through the field, and the finish line will be at the meadow. Let's go, replied the hare as he stretched his long, strong legs. The race began and the hare took off in a dash, leaving the tortoise behind. Do you give up yet, called the hare. I won't give up, replied the tortoise. Slow and steady will win the race. So it wasn't long before the hare reached the field where he saw rows and rows of carrots. And the hare thought to himself, hmm, I woke up so early to get to the race, I didn't have time for breakfast. That tortoise is so slow, I can eat all these carrots and still win the race. 
So the hare decided to stop for a snack. He ate as many carrots as he could, and after a long while, the tortoise slowly came up on the hare. What took you so long, said the hare to the tortoise, as he took off in a dash, leaving the tortoise in a cloud of dust. But the tortoise didn't give up, because she knew that slow and steady would win the race. It wasn't long before the hare reached the meadow. He could see all the forest animals waiting at the finish line. Just then, he felt the warm sun beating down on his tummy, and he called out to the animals, that tortoise is so slow, I could take a nap and still win the race. So, the hare decided to lay down in the soft grass. Shortly after, his eyes slipped closed and he was fast asleep. But the tortoise didn't give up. She kept plodding along the trail because she knew that slow and steady would win the race. All the animals gasped. Could the tortoise really win the race? The hare woke up from all the commotion and dashed towards the finish line. But he was too late. The tortoise won the race with one slow step over the finish line. All the animals cheered for the tortoise, but the hare cried, that's not fair. I'm the fastest animal in the forest. You are really fast, hare, but you have a little to learn about being a good friend. Good race. The hare was so surprised that the tortoise didn't brag or tease about winning. Good race, replied the hare. You didn't give up, and you were right. Slow and steady did win the race. And the hare led all the forest animals in another round of cheers for his friend Tortoise. Congratulations, friend. And the hare never teased anyone again. The end. Once upon a time, there lived a fisherman. He lived in a tiny shack by the ocean and worked hard every day to catch enough fish to feed his many children. One day, as the fisherman cast his line into the water, he felt a tug. And he reeled in his catch. When all of a sudden, caught on his hook, the fisherman discovered a golden fish, unlike any fish he had ever seen before. However, the fisherman's surprise grew when the golden fish opened its mouth and began to speak. Please, said the golden fish, release me from your hook. Set me free in the water and I will grant you whatever you wish. The fisherman had not caught many fish that day, but still he took pity on the golden fish and decided to let him free. As soon as the golden fish was safe in the water, it turned to the fisherman and said, Thank you, sir, for setting me free. Now, what is it that you wish? And I will make it be. The fisherman thought of his family, crowded into their old rundown shack, and he knew what to wish for. Golden fish, I wish for a nice big house for my family. And so it will be, said the golden fish. I hope you enjoy your wish. And if you ever need me, call out to the waves and I will come. The fisherman hurried home to tell his family about the golden fish. When he arrived, he couldn't believe his eyes. Where once stood his tiny shack, there was now a big, beautiful house with plenty of room for his many children. The fisherman told his family all about his wish for a new house, which the golden fish had clearly granted. For a while, the fisherman's family lived happily in their home. But before long, the fisherman's sons and daughters began to complain. Dad, why didn't you ask for a bigger house? We want a mansion with fine clothes and fancy things. So the fisherman hurried back to the ocean and called out to the golden fish. With a splash, the golden fish peeked its head out of the water. I see you've returned, said the fish. What is it that you need? Well, said the fisherman, thank you for the house. But what we really need is an enormous mansion filled with fancy clothes and fine things. And 
so it will be, said the golden fish. I hope that this time you truly enjoy your wish. But if you ever need my help, call out to the waves and I will come. The fisherman ran back to his family and found an enormous mansion filled with the fanciest clothes and the finest things that he and his family could have ever imagined. The fisherman and his family lived in their mansion and for a while, they were happy. However, not very long after, the fisherman's sons and daughters began to complain again. Dad, why didn't you ask the golden fish for a palace? We want a golden palace and a kingdom to rule too. And so the fisherman returned to the ocean and called out to the golden fish. And with a splash, the golden fish emerged from the water. Oh, I see you've returned again, said the golden fish. What could you possibly need now? Well, said the fisherman, I wanted to thank you for the mansion. But what we really need is a castle and a great big kingdom to rule. Ah, said the golden fish. I think I know exactly what your family needs. Go, fisherman, and do not call me again. So the fisherman hurried back home. But when he arrived, there was no castle. There was no mansion, not even a house. All that remained was a tiny shack. And so the fisherman ran back to the ocean and pleaded and begged for the golden fish to return. But the golden fish never appeared again. And so the fisherman and his family, they returned to their tiny shack by the ocean. And they had no fancy clothes and no fine things. But they had each other. And that was what the golden fish said. That, indeed, was exactly what they needed. The, the end. end. Hi, Mother Goose Club. My name is Ruby, and today I'm making a pizza with my friends. What they don't know is that I'm going to be dressing up as Blanket Monster and pranking them. <laughs> Make a pizza, roll out the dough, toss it up high, stretch it out slow, 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 spread on tomato sauce, sprinkle on cheese. Boogly,
guys got me good. <laughs> Sorry I was scaring you. It's okay. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Want to help us finish eating this pizza? Yes, please. Mm, hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. It does. Even better. Oh my oh. gosh. Thanks for making this pizza so good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Goose Club Playhouse.